Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for the Bolo Buddies members speed round. All right, you guys, we've got 45 big money Bolos coming your way. These Bolos come from my featured members of my um, Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, this channel. If you would like to join memberships, you, there's a join button like here or here or somewhere like that. And if you don't see it, sometimes you don't see it on your phone, you can check down in the description. I have a link. So memberships are for perks. My channel is completely free. But if you want the perks, there is memberships. Level two gets you shout outs in the videos. All right, let's get started. You guys, this is going to be a lot of fun. And we're just going to move through them quickly. So this is a bonus video. So I'm just going to tell you who sold it. And then I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Okay. And what platform it sold for on. So we are going to get started here with the first item. It sold on Poshmark and it was sold by the Thrifty Broad on YouTube, which is Vandy's Closet on uh, Poshmark. And it's this vintage leather trench coat, you guys. She picked this up at the Goodwill Benz, had about $2 in cost of goods, and this sold for $68 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Where Pigs Fly Farm. And I am going to take a minute and uh, talk to you guys real quick about this because I just think this is fantastic. Um, everything that they have, it uh, goes to charity. It goes to uh, Where Pigs Fly Camp, and um, they have a farm, and they have 300 rescued animals. Some of them are handicapped. Some of them have just, like, lost their home, and they've all been taken to the farm, and they take care of these animals, you guys. 62.7 um, acre farm. There's an old farmhouse that's um, an Airbnb that was built in 1882 and they have like cattle and pigs and peacocks all kinds of stuff so super super cool but this is open to the public so the animals get lots of attention and just a really really great cause um, I am going to have their eBay store linked down below um, flipping for fur babies is the seller's information but I think that's not their store name let's look at this item and then we'll go into it okay um, so this is a folding pump organ, you guys, and they picked this up at a live auction for $10. They started the eBay auction at a hundred and it sold for $280 and 59 cents. And I'm going to hit visit store because I think their store, yep, is where pigs fly farm. So if you guys want to support their cause, there is a link to their eBay store down in the description. Such a great, great um, thing. They are in Missouri and it's an animal rescue. All right, you guys, we're going to keep going here, but I wanted to share that to you guys because it's um, a charity and it's just amazing, just an amazing cause. So check them out. All right. This next item comes from Mindful Recycle and these are Mego Fantastic clothes. So they're for Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, you guys, from the 1970s. These came from an estate sale lot. She paid $5 for the whole lot. So she's got pennies in this. And this sold for $79 um, plus shipping. And that was Terry Mindful Recycle. The next item comes from Designs by Josie's. This is a beer picture, vintage export type Olympia beer glass picture in frame bar man cave patio bar and she sold this on consignment so her cost of goods was nothing and she ended up taking a best offer of fifty dollars on that the next item is from butterfly hustles and these are a pair of nike shoes she picked these up at a thrift store for five dollars and she ended up taking a best offer of 45. These are the Vintage Night Cortez size nine and a half sneakers. They're from the 80s, you guys. How fun is that? Super cool, right? And then she also did the black background. So I think they pop more on the black background, but, you know, eBay always encourages that white background. The next item comes from Double T Treasures, and she picked up a bunch of cameras at an estate sale. So her cost of goods for this was around $15, and this sold for $178.97, and 
It is a Canon AE-135 millimeter SLR film camera. It comes with two lenses, flash and original strap. So yeah, there is definitely money that you can make with cameras. I personally don't know how to test them. I don't know much about them. So I tend to stay away from them and I know I'm missing out. Somebody told me the other day in the comments, you're really missing out by not doing breakables. And I'm like, I know. But you know, I think that's one thing great about eBay is everybody can sell what they like and have a passion for. I do breakables sometimes, but I don't feel like it's I'm super knowledgeable in that area. So I need to learn more and then actually like make myself package it up. <laughs> the next item, this one comes from Yard Sales and Dreams. And she paid $10 for this at a yard sale. And she said she just wanted it gone. Somebody offered her 45 bucks. So she went ahead and took that. This is a vintage 1980s lilac purple prom queen dress, Southern Belle. And um, she did put Halloween in the title because this could definitely be used for Halloween. And I'm really surprised because it is it Swiss dot? Yeah, it's Swiss dot. And some of those Swiss dot can go for big money. So I'm really surprised this didn't go for more than $45. Maybe if she would have held out. Um, Jesse Shops, she sells a lot of prom dresses. She does really well with those in her store. The next item comes from um, Lola's Trunk Treasures. That is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. She picked this fabric up at the Goodwill for $5.20. And it sold for $85 on auction. And it is a Cyrus Clark vintage designer fabric, Wendy Chinze, Chinze, I don't know, Teflon, six yards. We'll just go with six yards. And it's this floral print, you guys. And right here, she's just got um, the information on a little paper. And that's a great idea. Very, very cool. The next item comes from Restored Glory. Um, that is her um, Etsy shop and her YouTube channel. I did not pull it up. <sighs> oh, that's right. I'm not doing that in this video. Um, so check her out on YouTube also. And she sold this mid-century modern, uh, it's a canvas wall art and it's a sailboat. And this she got for $4.99 and she sold it for $75. And I apologize. I'm not sure where she picked that up at. The next item was sold by a little bluebird. And this is a Viewmaster from the 1940s. Sawyer's round Viewmaster made in Portland, 40 plus reels. So it comes with all of the extras. I think she did a really great job with this photo, um, showcasing all the extras and looks really good. Um, sold in three days. She took a best offer of $70 and she got it at the Goodwill bins. And that was a little bluebird. A rural squirrel. Um, did I mess up here? Okay. Uh, she sold these Valentino boots. Okay, so here's the story on these. She picked them up at the bends, but the bottom of the shoes had holes on them. And she was told she shouldn't have picked them up, but she did anyway. She had new soles put on them. And that cost her $22 plus the bins, which is whatever by weight. So probably what, two or three bucks. And they sold within 24 hours of $175. So I just got to say that that story is fantastic. Would you guys have picked up the holy shoes or would you have left them behind? I would have left them behind. Let me, yep. Okay. We are good. Okay, the next item comes from Philly Flipper. Uh, that's his YouTube channel. And this is a View Loader Revolution Transparent Clear Paintball Hopper. Works great. So he paid $3 for this and he took a best offer of $60. So it looks like it's part of a uh, paintball gun. So pretty cool. I would have walked right past it because I wouldn't have known what it was. Dan's One Stop Shop. Um, that is his um, eBay store. And again, all of these will be linked down in the description, their YouTube channels, their eBay stores. So please go check everyone out. This is a 1992 elephant figurine by Lennox and it's sitting nativity cab. And let me show you the bottom here. That's what it looks like. 
He got this at an estate sale for $5 and it sold for $64.18 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Donatella Bottolino and this one is a bread and butter, but how often do we see things like this and we just walk right past them? She sold three of these for $21.99 with free shipping. And I'm pretty sure these came out of a storage unit. The next item that sold is this Raw Star BMW motorcycle. It's a die cast. And this was sold by Auctions for You. And it is a, uh, a toy. It's a toy like die cast model. Sold for $69.99 free ship or uh, plus shipping. And she got this from a toy buyout. And from what I understand, you guys, she just bought another toy store. So if you're looking for inventory, head on over to Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino, and she will have, have toys coming soon. The next item was sold by Franklin Hill Ventures. This is a 1982 Heisman Trophy Award program. Nine autographs. Herschel, Walker, Roger, and Staball? Stuball? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this sold on auction for $40 and he got it at an online auction for $2. The next item was sold by 1987 Ventures Tracy. This is an Uncle Wiggly Long Ears Antique Celluloid Pin. It's a bunny rabbit with a cane. And she got this at a yard sale for $1 and sold it for $124.87. And she has one left if anyone is interested. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller, and this is a Little Kittles Lion Pin, and Little Kittles can definitely be a bolo. This one is super, super cute. Her dad gave her a bunch of um, vintage stuff, and this was one of the items in there, and she actually did a live listing show where she listed a bunch of those items, so definitely go check out that replay. Oh, what did she sell that for? She ended up selling that for $28.10 plus shipping. The next item was sold by a friendly flea. It is a lovey, you guys. It's a moon and stars elephant knotted lovey from Walgreens. And she bought this on Facebook Marketplace. It was a whole lot of 13 of these for $39. And her cost of goods ended up being $3.66 or $3.60 each. This one sold for $66.60 plus shipping. So she was sourcing on Facebook Marketplace. I think it might have been when they had free shipping or that could have been another person. I may be confusing that. Um, vintage 1980s retro belt. Look at that. Uh, this one was sold by B Carried Away. She picked this up at the Salvation Army for 99 cents and she sold it for $39.99. And it's just, it looks like a stretch belt. I'm trying to see what the I D is it? Yeah. Oh, I B diffusion is the brand. Huh? Never heard of it. The next one comes from flipping palettes. These are Rimmel, um, eyeshadow sticks and these came off of a palette and she has about 10 cents in each one. And you can see here, she has sold 16 of them for $19.99 plus shipping. So this is where palettes are great because you're buying in bulk and then you have multi-quantity and you just list them once and let them sit there and sell and you just let the money come in. So if you want to know more about palettes, um, Flippin' Palettes is their channel. And she recently did a video about having her account suspended for something that she sold. Um, you guys definitely want to go check out that video. And the next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. That is her eBay store. And this is a vintage Mexican folk art Santa Claus, you guys. How crazy is this? Uh, she got it at an estate sale for $18 and it sold for $157. She finds like, I've never even seen anything like this. She just finds amazing stuff at estate sales. Maybe it's the area she lives in. She's in California, but she finds some really cool stuff. The next item was sold by Leo's Treasures. That is the eBay store. It is a Swedish Christmas tree plate, hand painted and signed. And got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. Took a best offer of 65 on that. 
And that's what it looks like, Costa Boda. And then it's signed right there. The next item was sold by Money Making Mama. She is the gal that goes into Dirt Cheap, which is a discount store, and buys stuff like this and sells it in small lots. And she does fantastic. She got these for a quarter each, and she ended up selling these for $49.99, and the buyer paid shipping on those. So they're um, Mandarin Saddlewood Fragrance Scented Oil Refills, and they're originally from Target. The next item was sold by Antiques from Karen, um, Ghostbusters Play-Doh set. So it is just, I believe it's just the molds and the box. I want to say that maybe the Play-Doh was dried out, but I'm not 100% sure. She ended up selling this for $34.99, and this came from her mom's estate. Um, and really, really cool channel. She's um, going through her mother's estate and her mother, um, she's calling it a hoarded estate, but um, it's all like stuff that is collectible because her mother had like an antique shop. So definitely check that out. The next item is from the Rebel Reseller. So she sourced these on Facebook Marketplace when they were doing the free shipping promo. She paid $19 free shipping and Somebody had these labeled as Curious George and the Rebel reseller is, she knows a ton about flush. So she knew these were worth money. So she picked them up and she sold them for $116.96. They are vintage knee hugger monkey plush. Very cool. The next item was sold by Lombardi Limited and it is a football postcard. And I'm going to show you the back of the card here. He does a ton of stuff like this. Um, he bought 5,000 postcards. And so he has like pennies in this. He did take a best offer on this one of $30 free shipping. So he did come down quite a bit on that one. Jack's Treasures sold this. And that is their YouTube channel. This is a blanket. And they paid $210 for the entire unit. And this sold for asking price of $85. And it says vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy blanket, yellow waffle weave, Bob's Merrill, no trim. And a lot of times these will have a satin trim on the outside, but this one did not. It's just a raw edge. The next item comes from Vintage Barbie. And this is a Knickerbocker, um, like plush rubber faced cat here. There it is. And these do really well, even when they're not in great condition. This ended up selling for $43 on auction and they paid $5 for it. The next item comes from Anytime Picker. This is a Cleveland Browns vintage pressed wood wall hanging and it did not work. So he got this at the Goodwill for $7.19 and he sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. That is her eBay store. And she picked up these Levi's at a thrift store for $2 and she sold them for $65 best offer. And they're Levi's 512 High Waist Slim Fit Tapered Leg and they're a size one women's. The next item was sold by Toledo Antique. I love finding these alabaster eggs. I always pick them up when I see them. They always sell. Um, these are hand carved made in Italy and they got these at an estate sale for $10 and they sold them for $89 and 99 cents. And these actually still have, um, the stickers on them. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching King and this is a nightgown. It's a vintage pineapple patch nightgown, prairie ruffle hem. And you can see right here, it says pineapple patch. And he got this at a garage sale for $1 and he sold it for 75 best offer. The next item comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She picked this up at an estate sale for 25 cents, took a best offer of 80. It is a Fendi perfumed body lotion made in Italy, new without box, discontinued, new old stock. The next item comes from the Thrifty Nichols. This is a vintage Adidas dress. Um, she ended up taking a best offer of 35 on this and she got it at the Goodwill for $6.99. Queen of Hearts Charnel picked up this My Little Pony. It is a G1 
Let's get the face here for you. Look at the eyes. Pretty cool, right? And let's see, Twinkle, Twinkle Eyes, Earth, 1987. Uh, sold in two days for asking price, but it's marked through. So I'm not sure what she sold it for. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but she got it at a thrift store for a dollar. The next item, the Funky Pickle Thrifter sold this, and she is like the jewelry expert. So I picked this one because she also sells other things, and I wanted to show you guys that. Um, these are Nancy Drew books. Oh no, I'm sorry. They're computer games, interactive computer games. Um, a lot of 15. She got these at a thrift store. She got a full box for $20 and sold these for $97 plus shipping. Got junk in our trunk, sold this. It came from an auction on YouTube, auctions for you. It was a mystery toy box. She had approximately a dollar in this. And she took a best offer of 35 for this inflatable tire tube by Suntastics. Um, vintage inflatable toys can definitely do well. So look them up if you see them. This one comes from Gigi's Gold Mine. It is a the Masters golf hat, leather strap. And he got this at a garage sale for $1. It did have condition if, issues. So he took a best offer of 30 And Gigi Gold, Gigi's Gold Mine is the eBay store. The next item comes from One Stop Shop 59. This is a vintage brass fire starter Cape Cod. And this sold for $57.52 and came from an estate sale for $5. I'm still not entirely sure what this does, but something to do with fire. So the next item sold on Poshmark. This comes from Gail's New and Vintage. That is her, right here is her Posh Closet. It is a Disney Plus size women's 20w overalls and they've got uh winnie the pooh on the front here got them at a thrift store for four bucks and sold them for 39 on posh the next item comes from flipping it good these are the aristocrats and it's five soft rubber squeak toys um they can also be used as cake toppers but you can see right here they actually squeak he got these at a garage sale a whole tote of toys for ten dollars and he ended up taking a best offer of a hundred bucks on these um, and the buyer paid shipping. And that's flipping it good. And flipping it good is the, the retail arbitrage guy that goes into like Burlington and Ross and finds $50 shoes and flips them for like 300. So if you're not following him, definitely check that out. This Linux winter March snowman figurine, um, just a little figurine here. Let's see what the bottom looks like. There's the bottom. This was sold by Antiques at Wandering Creek. That is the eBay store. And it is made by Lennox. And she got this from her neighbor's estate and sold it for $35 free shipping. The next item that sold is this Cape Cod Copper Works Large Heart Pan. This came from, um, oh, I sold something. I don't know where it came from, but she paid $10 from it, probably for it, probably an estate sale. She does a lot of estate sales. And this one was sold by Reselling with Honey. So definitely check out her YouTube channel. And this sold for $74.99. She said she originally thought that it was a Martha Stewart um, because the Martha Stewart uh, copper, uh, what do you call them? Cookie cutters can do really, really good. If you guys remember, I just recently listed one. Um, that's shaped like a snowman that is definitely big money. So, and the last item here comes from Electric Garage Sale, and it is a tractor's repairs catalog. And he picked this up at an estate clean out. So, basically, just his labor. He took a best offer of $75 on this, and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so that was 45 bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items hopefully you can buy low and sell high. Um, these again were from my Bolo Buddies YouTube members. If you'd like to join memberships, there is a link down below. If not, no worries. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to go down and check out these YouTube channels and these eBay stores. I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually follow eBay stores. Um, so if you click on the link below and follow their stores, you can see when they list new items, which is a great way to learn. And you never know, you might buy something. All right. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.